Getting a COVID shot has been a challenge for many Arizonans, but it may be especially hard for those in rural areas or those who face other obstacles. A U of A expert says the state's distribution system may not be fair to everyone. Nine on your side's Brian Brennan reports. It's a complicated process to say the least, and an expert at the University of Arizona in public health policy says it could be leaving some people behind. Counties seem to focus their efforts in more populated cities, and two of the state's mass vaccination sites are in the Phoenix area. If you lived in Tempe, then it's a 15-minute drive. If you live in Yuma, it's a six, seven-hour drive, right? And so um, that doesn't meet the burden of equal opportunity. University of Arizona public health researcher Dr. Joe Gerald says the system seems to prioritize state pods, and that could lead to a lot of people being left without equal access to immunization. It's going to be the very elderly. It's going to be those who have modest or low educations and low incomes. It's going to be those that are geographically displaced from a city center. Pima County Chief Medical Officer Dr. Francisco Garcia says they have partners and pop-up sites that help cover rural areas, but the vaccine supply is not always there. As far down as uh, Amado and, um, and as far uh, west as Ajo uh, and east as Corona, the Tucson and Arivaca, but we need the vaccine supply in order to do it. Gerald says the drive through style sites are also not designed with people who can't afford a car in mind. A system that's really designed for suburbanites driving your car through uh, and then going back home. Gerald says the state needs to do more to explain where vaccines are going and if they are being distributed with equity in mind. There's a lack of transparency in how these decisions are being made, how much vaccine is being allotted to each of um, the locations, and how fair it seems to be to Arizonans. Brian Brennan, KGA 9 on your side.